Hello everyone. Well, it's been a really busy last month or so and I haven't had much time to focus on any videos but I was just walking past this abandoned building and I noticed these signs of trouble lurking up above. Uh, these, these are the roots of a Natal fig aka a strangler fig or ficus natalensis and if you follow the, the roots up this downpipe you'll find the culprit way up at the top there. They're incredibly fast growing and before you know it they can do quite a bit of irreparable damage to, to buildings and structures and I'll run through in a minute what you can do to prevent damage to, to your building or your pool or, or even drains. So, so fig trees or ficus are this incredible group of about 850 species of trees and they're mainly found in tropical regions around the world. A few are quite well known, like the common fig or ficus carica that we get edible figs from. The weeping fig or ficus benjamina, you'll recognize it from indoor plants. Uh, and the creeping fig or, or ficus pumila, which is often grown up the sides of buildings. But most ficus eventually form these very, very large trees which create a protective environment for other trees and plants to grow in their shade. They provide food to a whole host of, of insects and birds and, and animals. But for me, it's, it's the roots that really set them apart. And I think of trees like this, this banyan fig behind me, that its roots enable to have the largest canopy in the world. Uh, or, or, or the bridges in India made from, from living ficus elastica roots. In South Africa, we've got quite a few remarkable species of figs, like the, the large-leafed rock fig, which has been known to literally split massive big rocks into pieces in a, in a slow process, just using their roots. There's, a, there's actually a fig tree growing in, in Pumalanga with roots that have been measured to go down, I think, about 120 meters below the Earth's surface, the deepest of any plant in, in the entire world. And many ficus have these aerial roots, as in the case of this, this bunion fig behind me, that can eventually turn into supports for, for their long branches, enabling them to grow even larger. I mean, you can see the, 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 the branches above me. Here in, in KwaZulu-Natal, we have the Natal fig, or the strangler fig, which, which often starts life out in moist crooks of other trees, sending down their roots, which eventually strangle and completely overwhelm the host. A friend that I studied with used to joke and say that the only things that would survive a nuclear holocaust would be Natal figs and our notorious cockroaches. And I'm pretty sure he's right. But our Natal fig or, or Ficus natalensis gets a bit of a bum rap because of their incredibly invasive roots. And, and because they're often self-seeded by birds in, in crevices or next to walls, they can do quite a bit of damage. The roots often extend to about two and a half times the size of the canopy of the tree in search of water and most times when drains are blocked here in KZN it's because a Natal fig has managed to get its roots into the drainage system. But, but don't let that put you off these beautiful trees. Not only are they an abundant source of food for, for birds, monkeys, bats and insects but they are incredibly efficient at cooling down the environment around them. Every part of the tree is used medicinally and, and they've been used for centuries as a, a sustainable source of cloth for clothing, bags and and even for paper and that's all aside from the fact that they're just majestic trees to look at if you have the room for one you should definitely plant a, a natal fig the most important thing when dealing with natal figs is to just be vigilant make sure that you deal with them as soon as you find them if you find them early enough you can usually just pull the plant out of the gutter or, or off the wall but if you're too late it's often much too difficult to get all of the roots out of any cracks and even just a tiny little part of the plant left behind will grow in a whole new plant. A few years ago I was called in to remove a, a fig tree that had taken root in the top of this church steeple. I had to climb right to the very top and, and try pulling these the, the, the plants out. But the roots extended so far into the brickwork that it was impossible. I, I had to use a mixture of, a, of a, a product called garland and diesel and I painted onto the leaves and, and parts of the cut stems that were left behind. I think the active ingredient of garland is something called triclopyr or triclopyr or something like that. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And it really does work best when mixed with diesel. Although sometimes you may have to do a follow-up treatment because the plant is a, a really persistent plant. But really, these are incredible trees and definitely worth planting if you've got the space. So hey, if you've enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with anyone you think might also enjoy it. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.